Pee-Pee. It's Pikachu and Yellow Pichu. They had a great time playing today, and it's showing. Yellow Pichu wants to hear the rest of the story. It seems Pika decided to replicate the Sleeping Beauty. Wake up, Pikachu! There's work to be done! So it was a dream? Pika can't find her place. She wants to return to her dream to play with the baby. Abra is worried about his roommate's sleepiness. Maybe she's sick? Pikachu really isn't feeling well. Does she have a fever? Maybe it's contagious. Abra decided not to take any chances. Pikachu, you have to watch where you fall. How can I sleep now? Nothing's working. Here comes Abra. He's back with water for Pika. Abra doesn't think it's time for romance. Pika should be recovering. What? Water is no friend to electricity. What were you thinking, Abra? Maybe a donut will cheer her up? But Pikachu, already getting annoyed with these awkward advances. There's one thing Pikachu can't resist, right? Oh no, this is too serious. This is Pikachu's first time. Pikachu, have you eaten anything sweet lately? Why do you have so many pimples? I think the disease is starting to get worse. Abra decided not to take any chances. Abra, what are you so excited about? Looks like Pikachu has a new addition to the team. It seems Abra became a father today. Grandma Beedrill can't wait to see the baby. Abra, you shouldn't scare old people. Not to mention Pokemon. You better help Grandma carry her things. It's been a long time since they've seen each other. Beedrill missed Pika. Beedrill has been waiting very long for a granddaughter. Don't be jealous, Pikachu. You're going to be a grandmother someday, too. Beedrill has a gift for the young Pokemon. And here's her bag. This is for the baby. This is for cleaning. And here are some of Abra's toys. The baby needs them more. Are you sure the diaper's clean? Hold on, Pikachu. Motherhood has become an unbearable burden with Beedrill around. Grandma didn't even start giving life lessons. And one last gift. Pikachu is willing to give up just to avoid being run over. Phew, it's only a stroller. Here, Abra. There's so much more for the girls to do. Hang in there, Abra. No one said it would be easy. Beedrill thinks the baby needs more fresh air. In her days, the air was cleaner. There weren't all those factories. I think this is Pikachu's salvation. It's Ash. He doesn't know Pikachu has a new addition to the family. The coach can't wait to meet the new Pokemon. What a generation. Not like it used to be. I think the baby's growing up right before my eyes. A mother's heart can't get happier than this. Baby's already put on some weight. Are you ready, little one? It's time for a bath. Abra thinks the temperature is just right. Prepare for the dive. It's best not to bathe with an electric Pokemon. That's where Grandma Beedrill's shower gel comes in handy. Well done, Abra. Safety first. Now you can make your daughter not only sparkle, but also shine. What wonderful parents Abra and Pikachu are. Dreams are sweeter after bathing. And the book is the greatest guide to the world of dreams. What? It seems to be working. Abra has become very caring with parenthood. Okay, Abra, we'll be quieter. What's going on? Abra, what have you done already? Wait, if Pikachu just came in, who are they throwing food at? Pika, Pika. Now Pikachu will give him a master class. First of all, you should start with the tastiest things. Pika, Pika. <laughs> That's right, Abra remembered. Now lunch will go smoothly. Pikachu, don't worry, ketchup didn't run out. Abra's got it. He wants to be a good father, too. Abra, here's something to cheer you up for the day. But I think the baby's fed and happy. Oh no, something's wrong. She's obviously not happy about something. Is the baby okay? She's growing up a little more. You're great parents. Ash can't wait to start training. He has a reward for Pikachu. But Pika seems to be floating away. Ash doesn't recognize his Pokemon. Sorry, trainer. I'm worried about Abra and the baby. Abra wants to say hello to Coach. Pikachu dashes after the flying Pokeball. She's a real hero. 
out. Come on, Pikachu, back to training. Abrachu is going to roll nowhere else. Pika is focused and ready to attack. Abra still won't come to his senses after all. And he's right to leave. It's better not to distract Pika from her training. Coach recognizes good old Pikachu again. Hey, maybe the little girl wants to try. Nice work. You're just like your mother. Pikachu's <laughs> proud of his daughter. Maybe they'll be on the same team when she grows up. Ash is about to apply for Coach of the Year nomination. But Abrachu brings him down to Earth. The supervisor starts the inspection. No one walks into his hall without a good mood. Now, where does the line start? Our team, too, decided to go on a family screening. Ash will help them get to their seats as quickly as possible. Maybe the candy will turn the controller's eyes off. But the plan doesn't work. Ash isn't going to give up. He brought a star with him. The Pokemon have no choice but to play along with the coach. Abra dresses Pika up in a detective costume. The controller recognizes Detective Pikachu. Just one autograph, please. Oh, I can't wait to see myself on the big screen. What? Stomach? That's for the next part. I can't let you through without an autograph. Pikachu took pity on the fan and left her signature. This must be the best day of the ticket controller's life. He's letting the VIP guest in without a line. It's time to take your baby for a health checkup. Make yourself comfortable, little one. The doctor sees the young couple and takes over the case. They are so happy that the doctor will attend to them. The baby doesn't seem to be compatible with electrical devices. The doctor has another idea. So Blue, your insurance is declined. There he is, prehistoric stethoscope. We're about to find out. Uh-oh, what's with the lights? I think the doctor's a part-time lamp technician as well. That burns. Congratulations, you're gonna have a... But the parents don't wanna know that before it's time. Then why did the doctor go through all of this? Pikachu and Abra decided to have a gender party. Ash concedes to Grandma to pop the balloon. B is just made for it. Yay, she's going to have a granddaughter. Young mother spends all her time with her baby. What's going on? She's sparkling again. Abra decided to get busy with the cooking in the meantime. Oh no, what's that commotion? What if Pika and the baby are in danger? The Pokeball's gotten a whole lot bigger. Abra's already there. Give it up, bandits. Even though there are no bandits, someone's stolen his heart. And it's their baby, Abrachu. He can't wait to hold her in his arms. It's her first discharge. Ross? Did he get out of jail again? Give me back my Pokeball quickly, or you'll be sorry. But the Pokemons know it's Ross who's going to be sorry. Ross can't figure out why they're giving up their Pokemon so easily. And then it all became clear. Catch the baby. Yeah, I'd rather not pry into their family's business. Ross, you really did it. Yeah. Looks like it's time to take their first family selfies. This will be the first chapter in Little Abertru's life album. Pokemon is sure that the little girl will do well. After all, she's surrounded not only by her parents, but also by wonderful friends. They will always play and feed her. It's him again, Ross. He's probably played the police around again. Are you strong enough to stand up to the whole team? And don't forget the young prodigy. But he's not here to fight. He's here with a gift for a new Pokemon. The little one will never turn down a gift. This is all too suspicious. Ash and Beedrill, surprised as much as their parents. It's more likely the rivers will reverse before Ross becomes good. Get him. He's got Abertu. Don't let him get away. You haven't seen a new Pokeball like this yet. The new item is a real mermaid. Wow, the Pokemons are excited about their new colleague. Ariel looks really adorable. How not to adopt a sea princess? Except only one person will get her, and that would be... Young man at the end of the hall, come on stage. Make your way for the winner. It looks like Ross is a great catch tonight. Pichu doesn't think the judges are fair. Ross only deserves to be kicked. Ash, how did you get here in time to sign the papers? You really wouldn't deny Pichu a new friend, would you? It looks like the judge didn't know about Ross's reputation. The deal is canceled. You shouldn't be crossing Pokemon anymore. Ariel is now part of the team. Your Highness, this is your new home. Feel yourself like a fish in water. Pichu can't wait to play with her new friend. 
Wait a minute. This is Ash's collection. How many Pokemon are there? At last, Ariel can look at it from the outside. Oh no, I think that's Pichu's Pokeball. Ariel shouldn't have picked it up. It looks like Pichu wasn't planning on playing hide and seek. She is very unhappy about this twist. And what's Ash doing? I think he's hooked. And judged by the picture, he's not the only one. With the new guest also came rearrangements. It seems now we could forget about sushi. How are we supposed to live now? Ariel is also thinking about the comforts. Oh. The fishes seem to enjoy the aquarium so much. Maybe Ash can make it so she's underwater too. Yeah, underwater? Ash, you've got it all wrong. How could you do such a thing? Okay. I'll make it right. How disrespectful to the princess. Surprise! I got you now. He never seems to get over his loss. What a scoundrel. But Ariel's not going back to him. Then Ross will make do with another souvenir. Ash, help! Coach got a little carried away with a nautical theme. Poor Ariel tried, but she couldn't save Pichu from Ross. I hope she'll be okay. Who knows why Ross would want little Pichu? I think it's time to call for backup. Pikachu, I choose you! And what even happened to distract her from eating ketchup? We have to tell her everything. Pichu! Why is everyone so sad? It's going to be hard to tell her that she's missing. Pikachu's fuse is blue. It's Ross again. Hey, uh, where did it all go? Breaking the TV to fix it is not a good idea, Snorlax. You should do something you're good at. Who's out of luck this time? Strawberry. Snorlax loves it. Was that TV working? Uh-oh. Looks like someone's in serious trouble. If you want to keep eating donuts, you must cooperate. But that won't make the TV work. Pikachu's a top-notch electrician. She can do it in a heartbeat. Look, it's working. I think Pika found what she needed. There's Ross and Pichu on camera footage. What a rascal. Ross better not let Pikachu see him. Look, he's just messing with us. There goes the picture again. Now that Pika knows where he's going, there's no stopping her. Pikachu, calm down. You need to take the edge off. Snorlax is an idea generator. I think this case is just made for Detective Beedrill. Pikachu has renewed her faith in success. Have you forgotten how to chew? Pikachu, you'd better hurry. Rapidash looks after Ross's lab in his absence. Look what I got. Ross's knees won't forget Pichu's sneaky punches. But it seems that Pichu was the missing element in their devious plan. Pichu never gives up. Let's see how you do after the experiment. He wants to use science to turn Pichu into an evil Pichu. Nothing seems to stop. Two villains. Replacing the good gene with the evil one. Ross is so excited. He's finally succeeding at something. All the generators and circuits seem to be working at full speed. Whoa. The moment of truth has arrived. It's working. This is incredible. Looks like we're only an hour away from transformation. Can Ross really get away with this? Let's go back to Ash's apartment. Pikachu is feeling itchy. The boys are just as upset about Pichu's disappearance. Ash tries to calm her subject down. She's gonna run out of battery for sure. Ariel hopes to at least get some help from the fish. Maybe they know where Ross is lying low. Maybe they're in this together with Ross. Is there no hope left at all? Pikachu doesn't know what to do with herself. Ariel tries to calm her down with a gentle breeze. Where did all those bees come from? Detective Beedrill read her message. But where's the author? Yes, indeed. The detective is just in time. Everyone has something to tell her. But most importantly, they're looking for a missing Pokemon. Well, Beedrill takes the case. First, we have to search the crime scene. The only clue so far is the missing Pichu hat. There's nothing to hide from Beedrill's eyes. That's the second lead. Someone was eating on the couch. Wow, it's honey. The advance is closed. Beedrill loves honey. Evidence destroyed. But it's not the villain. We need to seal off the crime scene in case there's any more tasty evidence. The team wants to know if she's been able to find out anything. The detective seems to have already picked up the trail. That's quite suspicious hoof dense. They would have noticed the horse's appearance. The mind of a true detective must be cold. We have to check the entire criminal database. It's definitely Rapidash. The guys can't believe that Rapidash is with Ross. I think we're in for a big showdown. Ash, what happened to your team? Ariel, have you seen Pikachu? There she is. Now hide. Ariel, you're gonna blow the cover. If Beedrill was right, they're right around the corner. 
just in time, detective. There's the accomplice. What is she doing here? Wow, I wouldn't want to be the target. Pikachu can't wait to take her revenge. But we can't rush it. This requires trickery. Rapidash doesn't seem to realize anything. What? An apple? You can consider it a parting dinner. The team has never seen Pikachu in such a mood. One punch wasn't enough after all. But Pikachu has no intention of backing down. Great, now Rapidash has a moving target. Today, fire and lightning will clash. Pikachu charges the most powerful lightning ball. Rapidash manages to block it. Pikachu is ready to tame the horned Pokemon. Toro, Toro! Uh-oh, Pikachu better not have done that. Rapidash is taking an extreme charge. The hive will protect its queen. That's tough luck. I hope you're not allergic to bees, otherwise you are in trouble. Huh? That's quite a hack. Rapidash is not in the mood for jokes right now. Ariel's gonna cool the fire Pokemon off in no time. Yes, yes! Mermaids have superpowers too! Beedrill, don't forget to pick up your colony. You got it pretty bad today, Rapidash. Team Ash is on a roll today. Right, Pikachu? Rapidash wouldn't be so quick to jump to conclusions. Their friend only has 10 minutes to live. Does Ross really make villains of everyone he interacts with? They're running out of time. Rapidash has managed to escape. Now they need to pull themselves together and save Pichu. To Ross's lab. Where does he keep Pichu? Right now, Detective Beedrill could be useful. I think Pikachu found something. Look, maybe she's in there. Ash, take a look. Ariel can't wait to set her friend free. Oh no, water conducts electricity too well. Ariel needs to be more careful next time. Looks like Ash needs to take matters into his own hands. That sounds painful. Ash would go headfirst into walls to save Pichu. Our team got hurt without even going into the lab. Pikachu has had enough casualties. Pichu's fate is in her hands now. Ash, get down. Try to open it and see if it budged. Get out of the way! Pikachu will show you how it's done. Anybody home? Wait, maybe they left a key under the mat. Oh, Ross, you may want to hide it better next time. Looks like the whole team's back on track. Pikachu, hurry up and open the door. Don't be nervous, you can do it! Waiting is the worst kind of torture. Ross proved to be quite a handful. Pikachu, do it for Pichu! The team decided to warm up before the fight. Don't get distracted, Ariel. How many keys does Ross have? Just one left. Yay, Pikachu, you did it! Hey, wake up, you've got Pichu to save. How long do we have to wait for you? Get to the lab. The team got into the lair of the villain. I wonder where he's hiding their baby girl. There she is. The girls are finally back together. Neither Ross nor the balloon will come between them. Ariel missed Pichu too. He could be careful. Ross is right behind you. It was his trap. Pichu was just a decoy. The girls are so excited to see each other, they don't notice the threat at all. Oh no! Ross is ready to add more Pokemon to his collection. Pikachu, turn around! Ross is behind you! Now it's time to pew pew in the other direction, Pikachu. Ross didn't wait for the girls to finish playing. Not again! It's not time to give up yet. Ash shares a plan with a mermaid and she's ready to back him up. Show off your abilities! You can't stop Ross with bubbles. The incubator is already overcharged. Only a miracle can save the guys from failure. It's time for the mistress of water to show her true power. The terror of the seas and oceans, Mermaid Ariel. This tsunami is for you, Ross. Hold your breath. Looks like your plan went down the drain. Ariel, you succeeded. Didn't mom tell you to not go near an outlet with wet hands? The Pokemons are safe again. The Pokemon have gathered for a food challenge. Here comes Charmander. We're sort of chefs. Who wants to help us cook? No, we only know how to binge. Fire Pokemon is upset, but you'd better not play with fire. You don't want to know what she is capable of in her wrath. You can't scare Pokemon with heavy breathing. They didn't yet know that Charmander transforms into Charizard when she's angry. Whoa, now I think everyone will listen to you very carefully. The grand prize of today's challenge is the gold cup. It's so brilliant, it won't leave anyone indifferent. Everyone is intrigued, but the cup is not so easy to get. Let the cooking challenge begin. 
here's the list of contenders. Jigglypuff gets creative. Her microphone is quickly turning into a rolling pin. Beedrill is not far behind. She equipped her stingers with a whisk. Rapidash will cook everything precisely according to the recipe. Charizard, like a real chef, gives her an assignment. Meowth! The food is not a toy. She was just warming up before she released her claws. Well done. But you didn't impress the Charizard. What's Eevee doing? You'll be scrolling through the feed later. But Eevee was already done. Charizard was curious to see her dish. What? Eevee prefers a classic breakfast. So what, isn't that a dish? Chari is furious with her. She won't tolerate slackness. Turns out even cereal and milk could be ruined. Now it's a miner's breakfast. Charizard is not to be messed with. Now everyone will take the contest more seriously. Evie leaves the challenge. Pikachu does more tasting than cooking. Beedrill managed to change the attachment on the sting. Now it's a pastry arm. Beedrill, with her new gadget, decided to make ice cream. Pikachu also wants a hand like that. Beedrill is thrilled with her know-how. I think Pikachu has a plan. A magic word and a shock can work wonders sometimes. Beedrill understood Pikachu perfectly, and she treats her with ice cream. Everything tastes so much better with M&Ms. Bon appetit! Poor Beedrill, the shock was too strong. Charizard also got some specialty ice cream. Except she won't tolerate a mess in the kitchen. Beedrill already started to regret her mods. Pikachu can't resist laughing, even in the face of her removal. That's what it means to burn out at work. Pikachu won't tolerate that and decides to stand up for the bee. Wow, you're brave, Pichu. Two people are out of the challenge at once. Snorlax is in no hurry to spoil us with culinary masterpieces. Rapidash, on the other hand, seems determined to win. All the ingredients are in place. Snorlax has decided to wake up when he is awarded. He must be dreaming sweet dreams. Oh, look at this gentleman. You have a good taste, Snorlax. Rapidash decided to get some extra points. She already has so many ingredients that there's no room left on the table. That's the spirit of victory. It seems our Don Juan is in trouble. Wake up, no sleeping. Well, what have you cooked? Rapidash's efforts don't go in vain. The chef sees a worthy contender to win. Well, Snorlax, shame on you. But the Pokemon is not troubled. One minute and it's done. Too bad it's not a sleeping challenge, then he'd had no competition. Snorlax can barely blink. What should he make? Rapidash doesn't even think about stopping. Snorlax crawls to the finish line like a crippled turtle. But here's his key to victory. Wait, where did he go? Abra! Is that you? Oh, what a trickster. Snorlax is ready to punish the rascal. But Abra wants to cover up this little incident with an equally little jar of Nutella. Good girl Rapidash has already moved on to the next stage of cooking. And Snorlax still won't come to his senses. Abra, meanwhile, is preparing a big spoon for Nutella. Why make such a mockery of the sweet tooth? But Abra is savoring this moment in every way. Oh no, Snorlax can't take it. Come on, Abra, you're breaking Snorlax's heart. He won't stand for that. Hey, don't get too excited, buddy. It's just Nutella. All right, all right. Abra's got it. Snorlax wants an apology. Abra decided to put it back the way it was. Snorlax is happy now. Smart move, Abra. Good boy. Oops. <laughs> Such a small jar and it blew up so hard. Oh no, not the recipe uh -huh. book. Well, you know that doesn't end well. Abra, do you know what you'll get for this? Incineration. Looks like he's got it all figured out. Abra leaves the Hunger Games. Rapidash has found a use for her horn. Her donut fortress is beautiful. Snorlax only stepped away for a minute. When did she have time to do all that? You simply shouldn't sleep during a competition. So she wasn't sleeping. This needs to be fixed right away. Snorlax's melody is as enchanting as Jigglypuff. Rapidash can't resist. Snorlax, how about a duet? Snorlax performs a solo. 
Meowth wants to take advantage of the noise and try Jigglypuff's dessert, but the dreaming Pokemon is on the lookout for her sweets. Instead of a rope, the girls tug on the cake pops. Snorlax continues his non-stop concert. And here comes Charizard! She sure isn't thrilled with what's going on. Uh-oh, that's a bad sign. Meowth has already guessed the consequences. No one wants to deal with an angry dragon. Two contestants will be leaving the cooking contest at once. Hey, Rapidash, wake up, hurry! Phew, looks like you got lucky this time. There are only two contestants left in the competition. Snorlax looks like you took too many sleeping pills. Little Rapidash doesn't even think about returning from her sweet dream world. Snorlax thinks it's better to work with your head than with your hands. I need your finest cake right here and right now. Wow, Rapidash has a competitor for speed. Thanks for the delivery, friend. You're welcome. Good morning, Rapidash. Snorlax barely has time to hide the package. How long did Rapidash sleep if Snorlax had time to cook this? Try sleeping less. Rapidash, you forgot all about time. There's too little of it left. Rapidash tries his best. Snorlax anticipates his victory. A few more pieces, and it's done. You're quite an athlete. Come on, Rapidash, you've only got a few seconds left. Hands down on the table, time's up, the round is over. The finalists are not going to give up their place on the podium, but it's all up to Charizard. Not bad. Now Rapidash. How interesting. Is that a mountain or a wizard's cap? Who will the judges choose? My heart sank in anticipation. They both pulled it off. Great job! Meowth, is that you? Aren't you eliminated? Look at those pretty eyes. How can you say no to them? All the more reason for her dessert to please Charizard. The contenders are already starting to worry that this cat will take their win. Chari sends Meowth into the jury room. The Italian in Snorlax protests as best he can. Ash and Jesse have been sitting here all day, and they still haven't been fed. Here comes the first course. Meowth adds some performance art and lights a candle on his tail with his mind. <laughs> you did it! You're so good! Jesse thinks the show is good, but the taste is much more important. It smells good. Now let's try it. Jesse tastes another bite, but something is going wrong. Jesse is getting very hot. Ash decides not to take any chances. Oops, the cake seems to be fiery, not only on the outside, but also on the inside. Chilies? You liked it, didn't you? That should help drink it. Jesse hopes to put out the flames on the inside, but the hot sauce certainly won't help that. Ash, are you kidding me? Oh, what a prankster. You didn't even try it yourself. Jesse can now compete with Charizard in letting out the flames. Meowth has already realized it's not going so well. Charizard can't figure out what's going on here. And where is Meowth? Jesse is more worried about where the water or milk is. Yikes! And she was told it was going to be a cooking contest. She's not going to put up with the humiliation and taste the Pokemon's concoctions. She's had enough. Chari affectionately asks Ash to do the judging. Snorlax presents his pokey cake. Isn't it a masterpiece? Good composition, top notch. Snorlax is pleased with the fair judging. Now it's the turn of Rapidash and her donut mountain. Ash immediately forgot about the pokey cake. This is the peak of culinary prowess. And it's so delicious, too. Charizard is thrilled with her protégés. Rapidash is over the moon. Ash decides to take a risk and try Snorlax's dish. This is already interesting. Moment of truth. And it's genius! Yes! Snorlax already smells victory, too. Ash has settled on his favorite. Yay! I'm the best! I won! Charizard is ready to give the award to the best cook. Don't worry, Rapid Ash. Snorlax is already thinking about where to hang his award. But what is this? Sonic was in such a hurry, he completely forgot to get his money for the cake. Looks like you got busted, Snorlax. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Snorlax is asking Sonic to leave. Since he doesn't have the money, he takes the cake back. But Ash wanted another piece. 
Snorlax seems to have gotten away with nothing more than a minor scare. And the official winner of the Pokemon Food Challenge is… Rapidash! She honestly deserves this victory. Wait, I think there's something wrong with the award. 